Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode here in Spads YouTube. My name is Spads and today, ito na nga yung pinakahihintay ng lahat, yung follow-up review ko ng Moto Wolf version 3 rain jacket if you haven't seen that video yet i'm gonna put it in the description real world review yon ng moto wolf na jacket versus bagyong pae so check it out i'm gonna link in the description more or less 24,000 views na yung video na yon and i thank you for the viewers na nag comment and then nag react sa video na yon sana naman yung 24k na views na yon maging 24k subscriber din <laughs> okay so in this video there are a couple of things that we're gonna discuss. Okay, number one is how is the jacket? Kamusta na yung jacket? May dinagdag ba ako sa jacket? Or may binawasan ako sa jacket? So makikita nyo mamaya yan. And then number two is is the jacket leaking during the 8 month period? And syempre, number three is if it's leaking, meron ba akong ginawa to fix the leaking issue? So we're gonna discuss that. And then is how I take care of my jacket. And then my review and recommendations sa time na ito na ginagamit kayo yung jacket. So before we proceed, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and then follow my social media accounts. Hit the like button and then share so you can help me and my channel grow. Let's go. So, kumusta na ba yung jacket ngayon sa akin? Actually, every time na lalabas ako, moto vlog, moto camping, long rides, even uh, travel vlogs na hindi ako nagmumotor, I actually use the jacket every time I go. Kahit hindi ko siya ginagamit, still, I bring it with me. In the past few months, since rainy season na tayo or storm season na dito sa Philippines, gamit na gamit talaga yung jacket. This is the time that I found out some things on the jacket that I didn't discover during the last video. Okay, so I'm gonna discuss that in this video. Okay, so ayan, eto na po yung jacket. <clears throat> eto na po siya. Siyempre may mga mancha na. <laughs> And there's nothing different on the outer part of the jacket. Same as to the pants. Same thing on the pants except for the, you know, grease or dirty looking on the uh, bottom part. Pero yung sa loob, may changes na. Uh, if you recall my previous video, I don't like the mesh part. So, yung ginawa ko, tinanggal ko na yung mesh parts. So that, you know, whenever I put on the jacket and then I take it off, it's not hard for me to do it. Okay. So, yung pinakapunto ng video na ito is that most of you are asking kung nag-leak na ba or tumatagas na ba yung jacket. Sadly, to tell you the truth, nag-leak na talaga yung jacket. But before we proceed on the leaking part of the jacket, let me go ahead and give you a short detail what the Moto Wolf jacket is built, especially on its waterproofing. Kasi if maiintindihan natin to, we can come up of a solution on how to fix the leaking problem. Generally, the Moto Wolf rain jacket is composed of two waterproofing. Number one is the waterproof area and then the second part is the water resistant area. So magkaiba po yun. Waterproof is waterproof and water resistant is not waterproof. So how do we determine if which part of the jacket is waterproof and which part is water resistant? So dito sa jacket natin, dito sa loob, if makikita nyo, this part has a rubber coating. So this part is actually waterproof. Waterproof talaga siya, hindi talaga tatagos yung tubig dito. So most of the manufacturers actually coat a material on this, whether it's rubber, uh, PVC or yung tinatawag nila na polyvinyl chloride. The other one is PU which is polyurethane. The other one is a silicon and then the last one is chloropolymers. I'm not gonna go into details pero looking at our jacket this is a rubber coating. There are actually areas which is water resistant. 
Like for example, eto sa may collar na part, this is not rubber coated. This is water resistant only. And the hood itself is water resistant. And my favorite part of the jacket is the two overlaps. Eto. Pakita ko sa inyo. This is for the first overlap and then the second overlap. Eto, eto, and then eto. Okay. This overlaps actually protects the zipper. Now, the zipper is actually not waterproof. It's a water resistant as well as these two overlaps. For water resistant, what they do is they spray a material called durable water repellent or yung tinatawag natin na DWR. The best example on DWRs is the spray that they use on shoes to make it waterproof. It's the same thing that we use on this. So, if it's not coated with rubber or a waterproofing material, they just spray it with DWR. Now, how can we detect if the DWR is still intact on the uh, material, especially on our jacket? Remember, if you first use the jacket and then all the water just drips down, that's when you can tell that the DWR is still in there. The problem with DWR or waterproofing in general is that whenever you're gonna wear it, as time passes by, it will wear and tear. When that happens, it will break the waterproofing. Lalo na yung DWR kasi mabilis mag-break down yun. So, sa end ko, yung nag na part ng jacket is the zipper which is protected by the two overlaps yung pinakita ko sa, sa inyo kanina those two overlaps the DWRs and those two are no longer effective so eventually two overlaps are actually soaked in water and then the water actually goes into the zipper so tumagos na yung tubig so that's the issue basa yung ano yung tiyan mo hanggang sa hita mo so that's the issue the zipper issue that's the issue that I got on the Moto Wolf jacket. How do we determine if which part of the jacket is leaking? So there are two areas that you need to check. One is the seam or yung tahe. And then the second one is the zipper. So what do you do on how to check for leaks? Simple lang po yun. Yung gagawin natin is that we're gonna hang the jacket on an inclined plane. Parang ganun. Sasampay natin siya. And then, inside the jacket, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a bond paper or a paper so that we can determine if the paper will get wet. Then after that, we close up the jacket and then spray water on the jacket. So that's the method that I use to determine which part of my jacket is leaking. So, na discovery ko na yung zipper pala yung naglili. How did I fix my zipper leaking issue? Or how do you fix a leaking issue in general sa mga jacket natin? So there are actually two options to do that. One is that you're gonna buy a DWR spray, yung tinatawag nila na waterproofing wax. There is a specific brand for uh, jackets and tents in general. Okay, you can buy that. Actually, I ordered one online, di pa nakadating, so hindi ko mapakita sa inyo sa video na ito. Pero, in the second option, we use, eto siya, waterproof tape. Ginagamit po namin to sa mga tent namin if we're gonna go camping. Kasi eventually, through wear and tear then naglilik yung tent namin or yung waterproof material ng tent namin. Especially dun sa tinayan or sa seam part ng tent. So what we use is we use this tape, put it on the leaking part and then we iron this para dumikit yung tape na to. So, this is the option that I use to waterproof the leaking part of my jacket. Now, which part ng jacket did I apply the tape? There's no way that we can waterproof the zippers. Siyempre, zip out, zip in, it's still gonna break. What I did was, I actually waterproof the overlap. The first overlap, and then the second overlap. So, ito, makita sa inyo. You can see, ayan. 
parang may plastic na yung overlap yan may plastic na so the overlaps are no longer water resistant it's fully waterproof na so if ever that i'm gonna use the jacket okay first overlaps gonna prevent the jacket whatever water goes in on the sides okay the second overlap will not be soaked in water instead it will repel the water since na waterproof na siya ayan nakikita nyo so that's the fix that I used on my leaking zipper on my jacket now if, maybe if you're asking if this is effective or not syempre po effective po siya kasi ginagamit po to namin sa tent if this tape can make a tent waterproof how much more on the jacket okay so ayan po yung itsura niya Ayan. As you can see, the outer or the overlap looks like a rubber coated waterproof of the inside. So, ayan, nakikita nyo. So, that's how you fix a leaking problem. Now, there are a lot of videos that give you a step by step detail on how to apply this. This is really easy. What I will do is I'm just gonna give you a summary on how I did it. Okay? So, una -una, what do we need? Siyempre, waterproofing tape, iron or plancha, baking paper or bun paper. That's okay. So, but I would recommend baking paper. And then, uh, towel. So, what you will do is, natag mo yung jacket. And then, you're gonna have to measure how long is the waterproofing tape. Then, after that, put it in the jacket or where you want the waterproofing tape will be placed. Then after that, on top of the waterproofing tape, put the baking paper and then magsa-start ka ng magplancha. Now, what is the re recommended heat for the iron? In my experience, the recommended heat is around 2.5. So how many seconds are you gonna apply heat to the baking paper? So in my experience, you'll just have to limit it for around 2 to 5 seconds. After that, take off the iron, check if the tape is melted on the material. If not, then repeat the ironing until you are satisfied. Papakita ko sa inyo kung ano dapat yung itsura and what's the ideal look of the tape. So ayan. You guys can see on the upper part right here. This is the ideal part. You say it's actually melted in. On the bottom part, this is actually 2.5 heat. And actually, nasunog ko yung <laughs> part na to. <laughs> Kasi sobra yung heat ng iron ko. So, just go on 2 or 2.5. That's okay. And then just, you know, keep on repeating until everything is melted. Not the material but the tape. Okay? Uh, one thing to note is that whenever you're finished, there are actually parts na umaangat siya. All you have to do is just go in, put the baking paper, and then, you know, heat it again. It will actually stick. So, ayan. Now, the good thing about this is that whenever na matanggal na yung tape, sa katagalan or sa kagagamit, pwede nyo pong i-apply ulit. So, as long as the jacket is still usable, you can still make it waterproof. So, this actually applies to the seams as well. Papakita ko sa inyo yung seams. Ayan, nakikita nyo. Ito, yung kahe. So, most of the time, that is where the water will leak. So, you can still apply waterproofing tape. Just make sure that you examine the rubber coating. If something is cracking or breaking, put a waterproofing tape and it will solve your problem. So, in this part of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you on how I take care of my jacket. So, ayan. So, number one, after I go on a long ride, moto camping, travel vlog, moto vlog, what I do is, I actually hang my jacket. I do not store the jacket folded so that 
you know, ma-avoid natin na masira yung rubber coating ng jacket. Kasi if nagpo-fold yun, it will eventually crack the rubber coating and then the jacket is no longer waterproof. So what I do is, I put it in a hanger, sinasampay ko siya, I put it in a cabinet para room temperature lang. I wouldn't advise na ibilad nyo po sa araw yung jacket only if you're wearing it. Pero kapag hindi nyo po siya ginagamit, store it in a room temperature much more likely inside the cabinet or inside the room. Yan po yung ginagawa ko. Hinahang po siya, sinasampay, habang hindi ko siya ginagamit. And then, for washing, syempre, like I said before, if you're gonna wash it, don't machine wash or hand wash. Pinupunasan lang po yan. And then, if you're gonna go ahead and dry it up, just hang it and let it air dry. Do not hang it on a direct sunlight na papainitan mo siya. Huwag po yun. Masisira po yung waterproofing or yung DWR material niya. Last but not the least, if you are packing your jacket, make sure that you minimize folding the jacket. Yung ginagawa ko po is, pinofold ko lang siya into the ideal size and then I roll it. Two, minimize folding it. So what are my thoughts and my review on an 8-month span of using the jacket? Would I still recommend the jacket for you guys to buy it? For me, Moto Wolf version 3 is the best jacket that I've owned so far because of the two overlaps on the zipper. Kasi mostly sa nakakita ko online and then dito sa local stores. Even though na may one overlap siya, wala po siyang ikalawang overlap to prevent water from going into the zipper. Eventually, kapag malakas yung ulan, kapag walang cover, yung zipper, tatagas talaga siya. And... Moto Wolf jacket is the only jacket na may cover yung shoe mo. So, if you're not using a waterproof shoes, that's very handy. And at the same time, syempre, uh, may detachable hood po yung jacket. So, that jacket has a lot of features that I like. So, with me fixing the leaking problem on my belly, on the zipper, and eventually the future leaks, I will be using the jacket until it lasts. Actually, I'm planning to buy the version 4 of the Moto Wolf for my girlfriend. Para at least hindi na siya gagamit nung ano, parang trapal na raincoat yung mabigat talaga. <laughs> Para at least Moto Wolf jacket ako, tapos Moto Wolf jacket din siya. I'm excited kasi I'm gonna go ahead and check what new features the version 4 is gonna give us and at the same time kung ano yung pinagkaiba, may dinagdag ba sila? or may binawa sa features from version 3 and version 4. So, let me know what are your thoughts on my 8-month follow-up review of the Moto Wolf jacket and at the same time, leak fix dun sa basa sa tiyan at sa hita. Okay? Comment your thoughts and reactions on the comment section. And as always, Subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed. Hit the like and hit the bell button so you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Ride safe, travel more. I will see you guys on the next episode. Bye!